welcome to Blossoming Wellness. Today I wanted to talk about something kind of fun, which is my perspective on all of the NF Myers-Briggs personality types as an INFJ. So I'm going to talk about ENFJs, ENFPs, and INFJs. So I'm going to start with ENFJs. ENFJs, to me, feel like we're the same note in a scale. Like we just vibrate at the same level, we get each other. It's a really easy connection, just like an unspoken understanding of how each other's mind works. And it really is unspoken. Like my ENFJ friends and I, it's not like we spend a ton of time explaining how we think about things. We just say stuff and the other person naturally gets it. There's like no explanation necessary, which can be really nice. It can be really nice to feel like finally you don't have to explain yourself to somebody and they just kind of get you. And I find that I have a lot of common interests with a lot of ENFJs. They tend to like reality TV shows and analyzing relationships and they tend to be very personal development oriented as well. I feel like when I'm with an ENFJ, I feel like we're both standing facing forward and looking at life in a very similar way. And it can be a really nice sense of camaraderie to have a friend like that. Now, ENFJs, I can spot an ENFJ and tell they're not an INFJ because they will actually talk to me. So <laughs> that's a pretty good indicator. And I've definitely found that ENFJs are some of the most inclusive people. When it comes to dating though, I did have an experience dating an ENFJ and we had like immediate chemistry. We had insane amounts of things in common. Like I've never had so much in common with another person in my life from like music taste to our interest, like every single thing we were identical on which initially was so cool, but I found that I got bored kind of quickly. And yeah, I find that with personalities that I'm too similar with, there's not a lot of dating potential there for me. Um, it's just not my preference, but for friendships, I love ENFJs. So moving on to ENFPs, oh my God. I love ENFPs so much. I can spot an ENFP a mile away. I'm just an ENFP magnet. So while ENFJs are like the same note, I feel like ENFPs are like a complementary note with an accord. So when I meet an ENFP, I just feel like we harmonize and it creates something so much more interesting than just a single note, if that makes sense. You're able to have a really interesting interplay with our dynamic that's a lot more complex and intellectually stimulating for me. As I said with the ENFJ, it's like we're both standing, looking out into the world. With an ENFP, I feel like we're looking right at each other and we're just fascinated by each other. We have a very similar core where we like probably generally value like having a good time with each other. We're not really into conflict. We're pretty idealistic. We can be a little detached from reality. We both tend to be on the more non-judgmental side with a lot of things or at least pretty open-minded. Just that NF core is very much present with an ENFP obviously, but we're also polar opposites. My boyfriend of eight years is an ENFP and ENFP is my golden pair, so I'll talk about dating with him in a second. But even my, my best friend is an ENFP as well, my female best friend. And with all the ENFPs in my life, it's so intellectually stimulating to try to understand them because we will move through the world somewhat similarly and then they just do everything opposite to me. I also find that ENFPs provide a level of validation for the INFJ that no other extrovert really provides. I'd say ENTPs are probably pretty close, but for me, ENFPs are like the only type of extrovert that has consistently made me feel like being an introvert is cool. I think it's because they see the depth in INFJs and other introverts, whereas more sensor extroverts may just think you're like some quiet weirdo who doesn't know how to have fun the right way. <laughs> I've definitely encountered a lot of extroverts like that, but ENFPs just seem to see the depth in me and be curious about it. And I've, I've also, my boyfriend says this especially, to have an INFJ like want to share themselves with you means that you're pretty special, which is true. And I think ENFPs kind of know that. It's just a magnetic relationship. It's so easy to talk to an ENFP. I feel like I could talk to them for hours. And again, it's it's more interesting than with the ENFJs that I've talked to because with ENFJs, everything you say, you're like, oh yeah, I'm on the same page about that. I'm on the same page about that. I'm on the same page about that. With ENFPs, you guys may come to similar conclusions, but the way you got there is like completely different. And it's just so interesting. Also, ENFPs and INFJs are each other's unconscious side of the mind and the four sides of the mind of Myers-Briggs. Your unconscious is 
the parts of you that you've disowned, denied, suppressed, and rejected. A lot of the stuff ENFPs do, like being carefree, being spontaneous, not being so rigid or tidy or bogged down with the details. I'm just like, when I apply it to like, if I lived that way, I'm freaking out inside because those are all the things that I've taught myself not to do through my upbringing and through all these different things. So seeing somebody kind of embody all that, all that stuff that I've had to disown in myself is really healing. And I also love that ENFPs are so positive. I watched a video from this ENFP girl and she said that she was fascinated by INFJs because we're kind of able to go through all the different types of emotions and we're not like, we don't have any knee jerk thing where we can't be negative. And my boyfriend finds that I'm negative. He seems to think it's kind of funny. But it seems like ENFPs have this mechanism where they've just taught themselves to stay positive. I really like that about them. I'm definitely always working on introducing that more into my life as well. These are just, they're bright and happy. They have this really bright, chill, happy energy that I find is very, very addictive to be around. I feel like everybody likes it. You know, ENFPs are very popular, unlike us little INFJs. So we're definitely not the only fans out there, but I might say we're the biggest fans, I think. I'm able to see more of the positives about life when I'm with my ENFP boyfriend especially. So dating an ENFP is a dream for me as an INFJ. My ENFP boyfriend's the only person I've ever been in love with and he's my favorite person on the planet. I feel like he just sees into me in a way that no one ever has. He unconditionally loves me, unconditionally accepts me. He truly knows me for who I am. So to have all that unconditional love and acceptance means so much more because he actually Actually has seen like every side of my personality for every side of my personality there's a complementary side of his so it's not like I have to suppress or deny or disown any sides of myself I'm able to be the full expression of who I am with him and he is kind of the perfect complement for all of that and we have so many little dynamics in our relationship it's also super fun he's way more popular than anyone i've ever met he literally has like thousands of friends if i want to do something fun he can find us a party he finds us a concert he is the social guy so and i mean that's like probably my biggest weakness in life so i really appreciate having that skill set <laughs> lend it over to me sometimes. So it's a relationship that really holds my attention. Honestly, I never stop learning from the ENFPs in my life and I feel like it, it goes both ways. They say that to me as well. Okay, so I wanna talk about INFJs. So <laughs> as an INFJ, you would think I would like INFJs. I've actually historically kind of had a negative opinion about the relationship I have with other INFJs. I appreciate so many INFJs on YouTube and I find that INFJ creators, I'm just like obsessed with because I feel like they have the knowledge that I want. But that aside, INFJs, I find I never come into contact with them. First of all, there's just not that many of us. But second of all, even if I am in contact with them, I wouldn't even know because we just don't speak to each other. And I have a funny story about this one guy who I knew the entirety of college. He was like a part of our social group. He was good friends with my boyfriend. We hung out in so many scenarios. And I knew he was an INFJ at the time, but he was really cool. He would hang out alone a lot and he would read all the time. I thought it was really cool that he was so self-assured and so good with himself and had such a rich inner world that he could be alone a lot and find that to be very fulfilling, which I'm the same way. So I don't know why I found that like kind of surprising, but he was an attractive guy too. And I felt like he could totally be living his college lifestyle differently. But it was funny after we were out of college, he actually started DMing me, uh, even though I was still with my boyfriend and they were friends, it was kind of weird. But he was definitely trying to pursue me. And before I realized that was his intentions, we had had a lot of conversations about some of our common interests. And we like had everything in common. It was insane, kind of like with the ENFJ, but even more so, it was like crazy how much we had in common. And it was so funny to think that we spent four years in the same vicinity and we never spoke about <laughs> any of these topics. So I love INFJs online, I love INFJ authors, but when it comes to INFJs in person, I just don't feel like we really connect. Probably because we're not the people to go initiating conversations. We kind of let people come to us. But yeah, that's my little typing discussion for you guys. I hope you found this interesting. I'd love to know your Myers-Briggs type below. Let me know. If you're an ENFP, I love you. And that's all I have to say. Okay, bye.